How is it? Welcome to Bez's Garage. Um, Sunday afternoon, got the heater on in the sheds, got the mowers in here, uh, ready to have a look at what we need to do to get ready for next season. So, um, as David Valley once said, right, we're going to get right down here, deep into the engine, and we're going to have a look what's actually going on deep in here. So, once we've done that, we have heated the engines up, we're going to check on the condition of the engine. So the engines are a little bit warm, so we're going to do what they call a single leakage test. Now, some of the reason why you can't do compression tests with these, with a compression gauge, is that a lot of these have uh, little lumps on the cams, or um, anti-compression levers, so as you rotate slowly, it holds the valve open, so you don't get a proper compression test, okay? So the best way to check whether the engine's any good is to do a cylinder leakage test. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to get the engine up onto firing, onto top dead centre, then we're going to introduce some air to it, and we're going to see how much air is leaking out the other places, okay? So first thing to do, whip your spark plug out, disable your coil, uh, so you're not going to have any issues with getting yourself sparked and jumping all over the place. And then on the flathead, so this is my flathead, now this is, this is blowing a fair bit of oil. It's a fairly old engine, I don't know what sort of state it's in, so it's quite good to do this and then we'll probably pull it apart and have to rebuild it. So get yourself a little screwdriver or a little piece of um, uh, wire or something, and I put my finger in here first, and I turn this around until you can hear that now. That's the air coming out, so it's on the compression stroke, both valves are shut, and we're coming, so don't forget they go uh, clockwise. So we're going to put the screwdriver in here, and I'm going to just feel when it comes up to top dead centre, which is pretty much there. So now, what we're going to have to do, it's at top dead centre, we know it's firing because we felt the air come out. Then you get yourself one of these. Now I've borrowed this one from work. So this is a cylinder leakage tester. So what it basically does is you attach your compressor to one side, you set it, and then we put this piece into the engine, and we measure how much is leaking out of it. So, first thing we're going to have to do with these is plug the compressed air on, and we need to set it so that it's in the set zone. So we've adjusted it so it's in the set zone, you adjust this either way to get it within the set zone. Then you're going to grab your uh, adapter here, and we're going to wind it into the spark plug hole. So it's wind into there. Now, what I'm going to do with this one is, it's very hard to get this exactly on top dead centre. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bar on top of here so that when I put the air into it, I can actually hold it and hopefully stop the bar from going past top dead centre. So we'll see how this goes. It's sort of like a, a multi, multi prong sort of a thing. So we'll just see if we can do this without... All right, there we go. So what we've got here is... I'm just going to move this back and forward a little bit until we get to the best place and then we're going to hold it. Now if you have a look at where that's sitting there now, it's about 60% loss in there. Now you can actually feel it and hear it coming out of here. So, okay, so you can uh, plug it over, the needle goes up a little bit, and when I release it, it comes out. So that's showing me that the rings that are in this engine are leaking quite a bit past them and allowing them to lose compression. So I've lost potentially 40 to 50% of the compression on this engine. Even though it goes pretty well, it's not in a good condition, all right? So I need to do something about this engine. So that's the first one. So we'll just disconnect that, take that out. So this is my class one engine, class one modified engine. Um, right. Now, we'll come over to the other engine over here. So this is um, the Buzzy Bee engine. So this was my old mower. It's now Belinda's mower. So this is the uh, 31 cubic inch single. Uh, I've done the same thing with this one. I have warmed it up a little bit. Uh, now we'll get it to the right place where we get to top dead centre, and it's on the compression stroke. So we'll turn this around until... OK. So that's now starting to push air out. So then what I'll do is I'll get my screwdriver again, and just poke it in here, and I'll bring it around until the screwdriver doesn't come out anymore. So that's pretty much top dead centre. It's still set, so we're all happy with that. We need to wind this into the engine. So I'm going to wind this one in, like that. Uh, I'll do the same thing with the bar. Hold the bar in here, just stops it from, from moving around too much. And then we'll get it in here. Okay, so that one there, so that's at top dead centre, and you can see that's right up at, or oh, just below 30%, 35% possibly. 
So this engine's in a lot better condition than the other one, uh, which is quite interesting because um, this is actually a very old engine. This is about five years old, uh, and I've done nothing with the internals of this engine since I first put it together. So that's not too bad. Um, we could probably improve on that if we put new rings into it, which we might do, but we haven't quite decided yet. So, okay, so we've now tested both of these engines. Um, and we've decided that the 31CI is in not bad condition, but I think I'll probably pull the head off it and uh, show you what's inside it and that sort of thing just to, uh, to test it. But my class 1 engine here is going to need some work. So that means I've just made myself a whole lot of work. Um, so yeah, we've tested the engines now, uh, showing you how to find out what state the engine's in. Like I said, compression tests are not that wonderful on these because they have uh, anti-compression levers and cams that are, don't allow them to have full compression when you're cranking. So this is the best way to test it. Yes, you can do a compression test. It gives you an overall guide. I mean, obviously it's got no compression. The other good thing with doing these leak tests is if you listen to the inlet manifold and listen to the exhaust manifold, you can also hear if the valves are leaking. Now on both these engines, the valves are not leaking. I couldn't hear any air coming out. And when I blanked off the, um, the, uh, the um, PCV, um, there was no more air coming out through those there. So I'm happy with the way the heads are. Um, so it's just a matter of uh, working out why it's leaking inside. So hopefully that helps you. Uh, you can get those Sonda leakage testers off uh, AliExpress, um, Trade Me, Timu, you know, the new Timu, which is kind of fun, uh, and give them a go. They're not that expensive. You do need a compressor. But to other than that, that's a way you can test whether your engine's knackered or not. So um, until next time, this is Garage.